Uh, yo, what's up? Cowboy Nation, it's your boy M. Breezy. Coming at you, man, like I always do around this time. What up, Cowboy Nation? What up? What up? What up? Well, I'm quite sure you all have heard the news about uh, Kelly Moore. He's now out as the offensive coordinator for the Dallas Cowboys. And with less than 24 hours, he's the coach, the offensive coordinator for the Los Angeles Chargers. Now the play caller for the young and very talented Justin Herbert. I'm quite sure Kelly Moore is enthused about this. Calling plays for this young guy and this offense. And you that Prescott supporters, man. Y'all finally got y'all wish. You got Kelly Moore is finally out of here, man. He's finally out of here. So, um, I don't want no more excuses, man. I don't want no more excuses from you guys. Because y'all, y'all don't exhaust it. Every excuse it is. Every excuse it is, y'all don't exhaust it for Dak Prescott. There's nothing else you can say. You got your wish. He's out of here. Kelly Moore is gone. You got Mike McCarthy. He's calling plays for the Dallas Cowboys right now and Dak Prescott. You guys didn't like uh, uh, Mike McCarthy neither. You guys were saying that Mike McCarthy and Kelly Moore should be out of here. Because they're no good because they're no good for this organization. These guys don't know what they're doing. Mike McCarthy don't know how to do clock management. He's all over the place. Wasn't he the same guy that used to call, uh, call plays for uh, Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay? Even though they did win the Super Bowl back in 2011, right here in Dallas, Texas. But ever since then, man, the Super Bowl, man, things been been going down here, man. They went down here with, between those two guys. They couldn't get along. Aaron Rodgers didn't like some of the plays that Matt McCarthy would call because he was too stagnant. He was uh, calling the same old plays. He didn't want to, uh, the offense to uh, excel, take off. Matt McCarthy was such a, a, he was like a run first guy. So Aaron Rodgers didn't like that. So he used to get to the line of scrimmage, change the plays. And they used to get into it. And uh, Matt McCarthy to worry about getting back massages than worry about the play playbook for the uh, Green Bay Packers. So, you know, everything just went to hell. So they released him. Matt McCarthy took a year off. They say he studied, studied a lot of analytics. He was an analytics guy. And Jerry Jones, Stephen Jones, that was Stephen Jones' best friend, they say so. Oh, they brought him in for an interview. Stayed the night with Jerry Jones and his family to his house. And from then on, things just blossomed. He was hired the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. He was a made man. But a made man was not calling plays for the Dallas Cowboys. He didn't call defensive plays. That was Dan Quinn's job. The first Mike McCarthy brought in uh, one of his guys, Mike Nolan. That went to hell. Didn't last long, period. Then he brought in Dan, uh, uh, Dan Quinn. So Mike McCarthy they had no authority over, over anything. He, like I said, went for it on fourth down, uh, decided to punt, uh, decided to go for it on a uh, two-punt, uh, decided to go for it on fourth down. Stuff like that. That's that's pretty much what was. That, all, that was all Matt McCarty did. That's all the authority that he had. That was Jerry, that was Jerry Jones was, uh, gave him. And now he's into that role of calling play for Dyke Prescott. If this man couldn't get it done for Aaron Rodgers, who's a way above Dyke Prescott. Because Aaron Rodgers is an elite quarterback. That Prescott is not an elite quarterback. So if you think that you're going to come in here and make Dak Prescott better all of a sudden after seven years in the NFL, you're going to make Dak Prescott a better quarterback? Y'all say they're going to they're put him in better situations? But you're still saying that Dak Prescott need more help? What more help do you need for Dak Prescott? I just want to know this. What more help do you need? Do you know under Kelly Moore, his four years as the offensive coordinator for the Dallas Cowboys, Kelly Moore helped lead an offense that ranked top four in points per game, yards per game, and third down conversion percentage. Points per game, 27.7, which ranked second, second in the NFL. Points per game, 27.7, which was ranked second in the NFL yards per game 391 yards per game which was ranked second in the NFL third down percentage 44% fourth 
fourth in the NFL. But you guys continue to say that this guy needs help. What, 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 why? Because he can't win the big game? Because he can't read defenses? Because he can't throw? I, 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 I've been watching you guys put up all the bad... All, all, uh, uh, one one of the YouTubers put up a, 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 a route that was ran by Michael Gallup. The first interception that was thrown in the playoff game against San Francisco last week. You showed a route that Michael Gallup ran. See, what you didn't show was how long that pitch got held at football. When when Michael Gallup turned around, the ball should have been already on the way. So Michael Gallup, when he turned around, that got the ball in the hand. Still pumping. What do you want the man to do? See this, see, this is what you guys do. You guys I always try to show plays that make your boy look good. And make other make the same guy on your team that play for the Dallas Cowboy, you try to make him look bad. But I'm the Cowboy hater too. Oh, my this I'm a Dyke Prescott hater. But you guys are Michael Gallup haters too. I can say the same thing for you guys. I can say the same thing for you guys. But what you won't show is all the bad plays that Dyke Prescott threw. All the bad throws he do. You won't show that. You always try to show something that about another player, try to bring another player down. Just, just to make that Prescott look good. But all the excuses you got, hey, all the excuses are over with. They're done. Y'all has y'all have exhausted everything you can think of. Now, Kelly Moore's gone. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear not one word about nothing on the Dallas Cowboy. No defense, no running game, no nothing. You got an offensive coordinator and Mike McCarthy. You changed it up. That's what you got was always, always claiming. Get rid of, we didn't get rid of Kenny Moore. Get rid of Kenny Moore. We didn't get rid of Kenny Moore, Mike McCarthy. Well, you got Mike McCarthy. So that leaves you got one more excuse. Mike McCarthy, be aware. The Dak Prescott court group, the Dak Prescott gang, they're coming for your head. If the Dallas Cowboys don't succeed this year under your watch, under your play calling, they're coming for your head. They're coming for your job. And Jerry Jones going to get rid of you. He's going to get rid of you too. But Kenny Moore in L.A. though. Justin Herbert. When Kelly Moore shines out there with Mike Williams, Kenny Allen, and all, oh, hey, I don't want to hear nothing about you guys. Don't, I don't want to hear nothing about that. He had a better team. He in a better system. They got a better owner. I don't want to hear nothing about that. I don't want. I don't want none of this stuff coming out you guys' mouth. None of it at all. All you do is complain. All you do is complain. And all Kelly Moore did was keep the Dallas Cowboys in the top two, the top four in the stats. As offensive coordinator for the Dallas Cowboys. Think about that. Think about that. We lost Tyron Smith for the majority of the season. Brought in the Ricky Tyler Smith to play left tackle. Terry Steele goes down. And we still managed to win games. Still managed to win games. Uh, uh, Donald Schultz went out for a, a couple of games. Ferguson, Hendershot, those guys came in and played well. All while. Cooper Rush was the quarterback. But when Cooper Rush went in those games, y'all say, oh, no, the defense kept us in those games. Cooper Rush, Cooper Rush didn't, he, he, he didn't do all that. His numbers, his numbers wasn't, wasn't that great. When Dak Prescott come back, oh, now the defense is, uh, is a liability. Can't stop the run. Can't do this. The secondary, these guys digs doing this, digs doing that. You guys, hey, man, you guys are unbelievable. You guys are unbelievable. You guys don't want to get Kelly Moore no credit at all. We when, the, when that person came back after that injury, we played the Detroit Lions, the Chicago Bears. Oh, that is, oh, ever since that person got been back, we lead the league in points scored per game. The Dallas Cowboys offense took we phenomenal. But soon as you can't win a big game, oh, that Prescott needs some help. It's the play calling of the coach. But have you guys ever thought about that sometime that Kelly Moore? Dak Pratt, Dak Prescott was a handicap in Kelly Moore and his play calling abilities. He had to call plays that were more suitable for Dak Prescott to fit what he can do. You guys don't want to think about, talk about that. You guys want to talk about all the things that Kelly Moore did wrong. But when he goes to LA out there with Justin Herbert, he's gonna open that playbook up and I and, and I wanna wanna see what you guys are gonna say about that because we're gonna be watching. Oh yeah, y'all y'all guys made it y'all made it aware. Y'all put this in everybody's head. It was Kelly Moore's fault. So now we're going to be zeroed in on Justin Herbert and Dyke Prescott. We're going to zero in on them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got, we, oh, we're going to talk about it. Oh, yeah. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. And they fired. The, uh, uh, we got our quarterback coach fired. Him and Kelly Moore, both of them gone. I, I, guess the quarterback, I guess the quarterback coach fought, too. 
I guess he would throw it for Dyke too. I guess, I guess he would tell him Dyke to throw the ball wrong, throw it like this, or throw it like that. I guess he's, he's just about to. He gone. He out of there. And out of all the coaches that were fired, let go. Well, let's not, let's not say they were fired because I heard that they was their contract was up. So Jerry Jones didn't resign those guys. But isn't that saying the same thing that since you didn't resign those guys, that those guys was, was not getting the job done? When the Cowboys were 12, 12 and 5 for back to back season, the Dallas Cowboys 12 and 5 back to back seasons. And you guys say, Dak Prescott don't have enough. Dak Prescott don't have enough. But what about all those turnovers, all those interceptions he was throwing? Seven games straight. Like, like four games, two interceptions per game. That was Kelly Moore's fault too, huh? So I, I guess Kelly Moore made that person got throw the ball into double coverage. I guess Kelly Moore told that person got to throw the ball inside on the out route and throw the ball on the outside behind the receiver. You guys are, man. Boy, I, I tell you one thing. You don't put your foot in your mouth now, though. Kelly Moore gone. <laughs> Kelly Moore is up out of here. And boy, all this, hey, I don't want to hear nobody making no excuse for Dak Prescott no more. Boy, it's going to be hell. It's going to be hell to pay. It's going to be hell to pay when y'all, when that, when that when Dak Prescott don't get it done. Woo, woo. I bet, hey, hey they're going to disappear. And hey, don't come out, man, don't come out here and talk about some. When it's too late, oh yeah, man, that person, man, it, it didn't work out, man. We thought, we, we thought, we, we tried everything in the book, man. You know, you know, you got me, you got, you got to go with the guy you got, man. You know what I'm saying? That's all we had, man. So that person guy was our quarterback, man. So we had to ride with him. You're wasting time. You're wasting time. You're wasting years. You're wasting years. You're wasting years. Now, if you don't work out this time with, with Matt McCarthy calling plays, you're wasting years of the Dallas Cowboys and the, and the players. Some of those players are gonna move on because Jerry Jones cannot pay all those guys. You're wasting talent. You're wasting talent trying to make that Prescott into something that he's not. And when you, we do get a good quarterback, the defense might look like shit. You know why? Because we can't pay nobody. Did Dak Prescott, your boy got all the money for nothing. He ruined the team. I said that, that when he first signed Dak Prescott. I said, we were gonna, we were, Dak Prescott going to set the Dallas Cowboys back another 10 years. And look what happened. We ain't doing nothing, man. We ain't doing nothing at all. Nothing at all. But Matt McCarthy, you asked for it, you got it. Because I don't see why it took so long for, for you to uh for your job to be on the line for you to want to call the plays. Because I I can only imagine what he said. Well, Mr. Jerry, if I'm gonna lose my job, should not be the play caller. Let me call the play. If it, if it don't work out, then you can do what you're gonna do. And that's the problem, right there. Hey man, you just hear what it is, man. Jerry Jones, man. He ain't gonna try to, gonna try to uh, spoil the Eagles' win yesterday in the NFC Championship game by announcing that Kelly Moore has moved on. That the Cowboys has moved on from Kelly Moore. They came to a, a mutual agreement. Man, try to steal the Eagles' shine. Man, come on, Mr. Jerry Jones, Mr. Headline, Mr. Headline Stiller. That didn't work yesterday, man. Those guys are in the Super Bowl again in five years. The Eagles gonna rebuild around you again five, within five years. The whole team, quarterback, coach, everything, let, let everybody go. And they're in the Super Bowl again. And look at you, Mr. Jerry Jones. Still trying to steal those guys' headline. Man, you are, you, you, you're unbelievable. You're unbelievable. You're just like those Dak Prescott supporters. Y'all guys are unbelievable. Unbelievable. I always try to make you guys make yourself relevant when you are not. When you are not. But like I said, you Prescott supporters, you Dak Prescott gang, you court group, you don't stuck your foot in your mouth now. You don't stuck your foot in your mouth. We don't want to hear about, we don't want to hear no more excuses, man. We don't want to hear nothing else from you guys. Nothing else from you guys because you guys don't have everything you need. Everything you need. Everything you need. But don't let Kelly Moore go out there in LA and make Justin Herbert a Pro Bowl quarterback in the first season. Don't let, please don't let it happen. That Prescott better make, he better make the Pro Bowl. He better make, that, that Prescott better make the Pro Bowl. I'm telling you right now, he better make the Pro Bowl. But Jerry Jones, you're going to look like a fool. You're going to look, you're doing everything these outsiders telling you to do. You, you, you're getting rid of people that don't need to be getting rid of. All just to try to justify 
try to make somebody that person got support or satisfied. You the one signed this man. You the one said you overpaid for this guy. So don't don't put everybody else's job in jeopardy because your guy that person got couldn't get it done and all these supporters around him crying. Like little girls. Blaming everybody. Blaming the run game. Blaming the defense. Blame, you blame every damn body. Blame every, you blame every damn body. Blame the referees. Blame the Roger Goodell. God damn. Black press guy is the LeBron James of the NFL. He is the LeBron James of the NFL because this guy do not never have enough help. You always want somebody else when it, don't, it doesn't work out. But I'm watching. Oh, yeah, I'm watching. Hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below and tell me what you guys think about the releasing of Kelly Moore, the hiring of, well, not hiring of Mike McCarthy, the role switching of Mike McCarthy to call and play for the Dallas Cowboys. Tell me what you guys think, man. Subscribe, like, comment down below. It's your boy Breezy, and I'm out. I'll...